Welcome back! Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Heroic Craft. I know it's about a week late. I've uh, just been crazy busy. Started new training at, a, at my job for a different position. Hopefully this week we'll be right back on track with the weekly videos. This week we will be taking the floor out of the temple here. And then, I'm not sure. Not sure, we'll just have to see what goes on. Anyways, guys, stay tuned and welcome back. All right, I had to stop by the base real quick to grab a shulker box because Stephen is needing a lot of emeralds. So I'm going to go over to our stackable raid farm, and we should have plenty in there. I just need to craft them up into blocks and get them to him. All right, I'm here at our raid farm because Stefan's needing a bunch of emeralds, so we've struck a deal here. And I'm going to craft up a lot of emerald blocks. A whole shulker full is what he's needing for his villager trading. So I'm going to get that taken care of. Be right back. Okay, so we've got Stefan's shulker of emeralds now. Let's go see where he is at because I'm not ex I'm pretty sure he's at his base. All right, I'm over here at Stefan's. Let's see if we can figure out where he's at over here. Oh, look at him standing right here waiting on me. All right, Stefan, there's, yeah, there's, no there's your emerald. Are you, yeah, your emerald. Is that enough? Yeah, thank you very much. Yep, yeah, that's, it'll do me for now. Sweet. A few diamonds for you. Troubles, thanking you. Oh, did I throw them back to you? I was trying to make it no, look cool and throw them up, but it didn't work. <laughs> there we yep, go. I've got two of them. <laughs> There's been a few changes over here since you were last over, Snook. Log yeah. For one, we've now got a map. I've put a map of the area down, so as we expand, you can see the expansion. I definitely like that, the way you've got it kind of set down on the ground. You can just kind of walk over here and look. Yeah, that's why I've done it, and obviously, as you can see, my place I've labelled already, and I'm going to go along and label everything, so it'll yeah, be labelled. I'm zoomed in on it. Man, that looks really neat. Like, maybe I need you to come over and do this in my area. <laughs> it, it's quite handy, but I think the problem with your area is with you having so much underwater, you wouldn't be able to see much of it. You yeah. just see blue everywhere. Yeah, that's probably true. But yeah. Maybe once uh, you get the floors in and stuff, you'd be able to see them, though. Yeah. You've obviously heard about the war between me and Till. Between what? Between me and Till. The war. I was saying about Armistand War. Um, I said no, it on the actually, Discord. I haven't. Yeah, put on the Discord, there's now war, an Armistand War between me and Till. Huh. Because I... Yeah, I'd logged off and he came on and he said, right, you need to come and look at this. And just over here, you'll you got, see you got a, a hole meteor? in the ground. But if you f ignore what's on the wall for now, but if you look up towards the wall, you'll see something else flying in. Oh, a meteor. Yeah. And then if we just fly to the other side of the wall, head to the little bunch of trees... Okay, I'm following you. Just in here. I came on. This, when I logged off, this was a perfectly <laughs> clear area. Oh. Till has de declared war on me, set up a trebuchet. This was originally uh, an evoker's head here, but I told Till I wanted his head on it because he was the one that set it up, so that's now got Till's head on. Uh, and what he's actually done, because because obviously I've been helping him out on and off since he first joined the server. Right. He had put down here, it's gone now, but where, like, underground here, he'd put a chest down with some goodies in for me, because, like, including an, an nether ingot, but it's because, obviously, I help him a lot, so he just wanted to say thank you, and he knows that I enjoy the armor stands. So... With this, I do have my first wave of retaliation towards this already. What's that? It has, it's cost me over eight emerald stacks of emerald blocks with villagers uh -oh. already. That's expensive. Right, fly, fly up onto the wall. Oh, you got an army up here. 
this is just my archers every single one is full diamond armor holding a bow pointing it out over towards over towards that little attack i understand why you need emeralds now these guys cost a fortune yeah you gotta I, my vi one of my villages is reduced right but you know yourself you can only trade sandwich with villagers before the prices go up yeah so i used all of my reserve diamond gear and then i then had to go and make even more. You better hope these guys don't ask for a raise. You'd really be broke. That's why I'm in netherite, because I, if they ask for a raise, I'll kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love this. But, I, I love this. Yeah. This is great. But this is only stage one, because as you can see, my base, when you look down over my base, there's a lot of empty areas. Right. So as this war progresses between me and Till, because Till will build more behind the, my base, but down here I'm going to have armies marching and everything. I'm going to be doing a lot of work with my armor stands again. So it's going to be something for you to watch out for, seeing all the armor stands raising. Oh help. yeah, I'm definitely going to have to keep peeking in over here, see what's going on. This is, yep. that's Th great. This was, just, this was just stage one. You will find... I'm go you'll find me somewhere down there because I'm going to be as acting general against Till's army because he's obviously acting general in his. Right. But also while doing this, if you look just behind, just to the side, there's a big circle tower now appeared. Oh yeah. What is that? That's took that's took about fifteen stacks of blackstone so far. It, I was originally planning on taking it to build height, but that takes it right out of render distance. It is eventually going to be Sauron's Tower from Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Oh, as you can see, I've built my f on the ground. I've actually built my first building so far, just to see how it would tie in. Because the tower itself looks rather bland, because it is just a single type of blackstone. But as I build it further up, that's just a bait, the initial tower, and the detail will be added on the outside. You've got like a random patch of snow right here, do you see this? Yeah, yes, that's because just to this side there is actually a snowy biome that I partially dug into. Oh, okay. But like, if you come up here, this, this is the way of entering in and out of the tower itself. We'll probably use that for a farm of some sort. Oh yeah, I didn't even see this door here. Yeah, but it's that's just the first building of many that is going to be around the tower, and it's all going to be terraformed with your lava, your magma blocks, and everything. Well, I, I'm excited to see what so, happens over here now. I'm going to keep well, coming back over here. You know what I'm like with my building now. It's go big or go home. Oh yeah, definitely. That's the only way to be, though. Yeah, but while I've got you over here. Do you want a harder to get achievement for Minecraft? Uh, maybe. What achievement? Uh, caves and cliffs. From falling from world height to ground to bottom without dying. Oh yeah, you got that set up over here. Yep, I got it earlier. So I managed to get myself trapped in the bedrock. Uh, I don't think I want to get trapped in the bedrock, but. No, it's safe now. I've put glass down. Uh, up here where the scaffolding is. Yeah. You need to go right the way up the top of the scaffolding. I'll re I'll re jump down with you, but it's safe down there. Everything's co covered in water because I've already got it. But I thought you might want to get it done as well. Which way do you jump? I'll wait on you, but I'll to the see. northwest. This is in the southeast corner of the. It's an entire chunk that's been dug out to bedrock. Obviously, you know where it's at, so I'll wait on you. Yeah. Right, you've got to, easiest, best way of doing it is take off your elytra, but the way I do it is I just totally strip off. And then you want to jump northwest, because this, this is just over the corner of the chunk, so just down here. Oh, uh, oh you've got a big hole dug out. Yeah, it's a full chunk that's been dug out. I don't think I Oh, you... No, you got to jump out a little bit more. 
I think these blocks here, these raised ones, are just one too high. Well, we failed that. Let's fly back up. Junk. <laughs> I got it. I there didn't, you go. I didn't even land on there. I just kind of like scooted off of it. Uh, yeah, you'd have been just enough to be able to, to get it down to the lower level. Sweet. There you what? go. You, you've now got the caves and uh, the caves and cliffs up, uh, achievement, which is all the way down. Okay, so I'm in my test world here, and we've been working on the floor pallets, and this is what we've come up with for the very bottom floor. I think it'll work. Looks good. I like the colors together. Still likes the colors together. So let's get to crafting some of this. Um, I do know that that mossy stone and the mossy cobblestone is going to take a little while to get. So let's hop back over into the heroic server and start getting this stuff put together for our floor. Okay, so I went through all of our stuff over there and this is what I've got. I've got some stone and stuff in my hand, but we've got a little over a soaker of stone. Then we've got a couple soakers of cobblestone, and then this one just has, uh, I grabbed some moss blocks that we had. It's already got some cobblestone, mossy cobblestone in it, um, stuff like that. So I'm hoping to be able to use, you know, some of that stuff. And then um, we've got our spruce logs. Got a lot of it, a whole soaker, a little over a soaker. So let me get some of this stuff crafted into uh, the mossy cobblestone and mossy cobblestone bricks. And we'll be right back. Okay, so I had to come over here to our moss farm. And I had this already in the inventory down there in the chest. But I feel like we're going to need a whole lot more. So I'm going to sit here and let this thing run for a little while. And uh, try to get some more gathered up here. And <clears throat> hopefully it'll make enough that I just turned it on. So we can check here and see. Yeah, it's not doing too bad. Um, we may have to move some of this stuff over, like seeds and stuff like that, over to the composters. Um, I thought that they were supposed to go here for a bone mill. So that provides bone mill back here, back to all of this, just to keep bone milling the, the ground up there. I guess I'm going to throw this bone mill in there and add it to it. If we run out, I'll run to the Wither Skeleton Farm and grab some bones and make bone meal. But, let me get some more moss blocks built up here. Good inventory full. And I'll be back. Okay, so I've been AFK here for a little while. A couple hours. This farm is not very fast, but it does produce. I mean, and that's what we needed it to do. Um... I killed some magmas while I was here. Let me grab one more stack here. We'll call that good. We'll go retire it and turn this thing off. There we go. I couldn't hit the button. Alright, I'll see you back at my base. Okay, so I already have some here that I made up. And that may be enough. I've got some here. So between these and what's down there, I may have enough stone bricks. I could be wrong, that's a lot to cover this whole floor, but we also got to remember we've got other blocks mixed in with this. So I'm going to get all of this cobble and stone bricks turned into mossy, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got, uh, let me find it here. I've got a soaker of the cobblestone, mossy cobblestone slabs. I've got a soaker of the mossy stone brick slabs. And a lot of spruce slabs, um, I think, altogether a little over a shulker. And then all I need left now is the polished deep, sl deep slate slabs, which I will have to run over to the gold farm and grab the deep slate from there, uh, which I'm about to do. And then I will be doing a time lapse of taking out this floor here and... Then we'll probably do a time lapse of me putting it back in. So stay tuned. I'll be right back.
Okay guys, so I have got the floor in and taken out. So you've seen the time lapse of me taking it out. Unfortunately, my time lapse of putting it back in was corrupted. Not sure why. That's a common thing with the replay mod that uh, records that for us. If, say, the server shuts down or restarts, something like that, then it will corrupt it sometimes. And that's what happened. But we've got it here. It's in. You guys tell me what you think. I know it's been a couple weeks uh, on this video. I've just been in some training for work that has really been taking a lot of my time up. And so I haven't been able to get the rest of this video out. We did add our pillar of diamonds here. I'm going to see how high I can get this. Um, I did do some mining off camera. And I was just grabbing the diamond ores and other ores that I found. But mainly just grabbing the diamonds that I found. Uh, it was a couple hours. And then Till left... Um, a few diamonds over here. He needed some wool from the wool farm. And so he left us some as well. He knew I was working on um, the diamond ore tower. So anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Stay tuned. I promise the next video will not take this long. And we've got a pretty big farm coming up. Pretty excited about. You'll see that probably a couple videos away as we get set up for it. But it's going to be massive. It's going to be just great. I'm hoping next week we're able to get a couple of these floors up and going. I do have the material for the next one already. Um, but we've still got two, one, two, three, four, five, six more floors to go. So I don't want to throw all that into a time lapse in one video for you. But we will definitely keep working on them. Alright guys, this is Snook. See you later.